wild women in the deep east Texas woods. They read some good books and party with the authors and have more fun than you think they could. Wild, wicked, and free, they're the Pumpwood Queens. Pumpwood Queens. Hi, everybody. I'm Kathy Patrick. Welcome to Beauty in the Book. Today's special author is a good friend of mine. We have a lot more in common than a love of books. We're both hairdressers. It's Debbie Rodriguez, who has a new work of fiction called A Cup of Friendship. Welcome, Debbie, to the show. Hey, Kathy. It's really nice seeing you. Last time, I believe I was in California. Now I'm living in Mexico. So it's really good to spend some time with you. We're not an international book club show for nothing, Debbie. In fact, your first book, The Kabul Beauty School, was about this American hairdresser who goes to Kabul, Afghanistan, and works in this beauty school. This was your story, a true story of how you did that over there. Now you've changed formats. You have a new book that is a novel about yet another American who runs a coffee shop in Afghanistan. Can you tell us how you went from that first book to the second book? Well, it was, it was fairly a simple trans, uh, transition because I had opened a coffee house in Afghanistan. And after doing the Kabul Beauty School book, I just felt that I had way more stories to tell than what I was able to in um, the first book. I wanted to get into some more in-depth things you know, war isn't such good uh, dinner talk. And so I was really trying to be able to really show people what's going on in Afghanistan, educate and entertain. And um, this this book allows me to make it a little light, but yet it's still um, in depth with really some of the real stuff that's going on. And the coffee house is a an easy setting because that's where I spent a lot of time and I'm comfortable there. And I met some extremely interesting characters in real life. So it was fun. It was easy. The one thing I loved about your books, Debbie, was that this was the first time I'd ever read um, stories of the Afghan people, what their cultures were really like. And I found that um, my perspective was a lot different than what I hear in the news and the media. Let's talk a little bit about that. How, what are the differences uh, between the culture there and here? Well, there's a lot of differences, but also there's a lot of things that are, you know, we have in common. Um, and I think that people often want to mistake Islam for the bad guys. And that is so not the case at all. And I think it's really important that we show real Afghanistan. It's a wonderful country. The people are wonderful. It's very conflicted. And it's been conflicted for a long time. But it's important for us to see it from uh, not just the car bombings and not just this terrorist and all these creepy guys. You know, there's some real people with real troubles just like we have in the states they're just different can you tell the listening audience of how you came to be an american hairdresser to go to afghanistan um well i started disaster relief training in august of 2009 uh, 2000 2001 sorry um and then uh, uh ground zero happened and I was deployed out to, uh, to New York. And then that same team went to Afghanistan and it was a medical team. And I was absolutely useless because I'm the hairdresser. And um, I basically just started doing hair when I was over with them and realized that the one thing they were lacking outside of you know streets and electricity were really good hairdressers. So the beauty school was born. And so I did. I had a lot of uh, interaction. I was married to an Afghan, so I got kind of an inside look. And then opening the coffee house, um, there was one incident incident that actually took place that's in the book where these 
five guys with strapped with machine guns. And I mean, I had to take their guns because I could not have these guns in the coffee house. I, it, what a security breach, right? So I'm like, you know, give, can you give me your guns, please? And they're like, no, 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 we got to keep our guns. I'm like, listen, if you don't give me your guns, you're not going to get a menu. And so, you know, so I'm, I've got all these guns in my hand and I'm thinking, okay, now what am I supposed to do with them? I acted like we had the, the security closet for weapons and I put them <laughs> in the broom closet. <laughs> So, you know, there was just too much information between the beauty school and the coffee house not to want to tell more stories. We are now with head queen Anita Bice of the Pulpwood Queens of Carrollton, Georgia. Do you have a question you'd like to ask Debbie? Um, I know that a cup of friendship is a work of fiction. And that there were people you met there that really inspired you. But was it a true reflection of Afghanistan? I, the one thing that was really important to me is that, yes, it's a work of fiction. And it's a collaboration of different stories, different people I've met, you know, elaborating on some thoughts and things that happened there. But what it was re- very important that everything remained real, that an incident that happened in the book, it would have happened in real life or it had happened in real life. Um, You know, places and people are changed in that arena, but I wanted it to be as close to real as possible, like the facts that you read in the book or, you know, you know, it was real so that you are getting a history lesson and a, you know, current issues sort of thing. You're getting information that's correct. I think you did a really good job with that because I really did feel like I was a part of Afghanistan as I was reading it. So you did a really good job of that. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Debbie. I'm Nancy. Um, Hi, Nancy. I just wanted to know if you had a reason to give Holly John such defiance. Because back in the 70s, it was a very progressive country. Uh, Kabul was a really, you know, met- metropolitan country, mini skirts. The girls were going to the university all the time. It was, it was not, it was not the Afghanistan we know. When, when this all took place with all the wars, these strong women who had their voice at that time just got snuffed out, and so. Halajan needed to, there are these women. This is not that uncommon. There are strong women in Afghanistan that have to hide behind the burqa, which is really sad, but at least, you know, she has her, she has chutzpah. Novels take a lot of work, a lot of time and effort, uh, a real commitment. What was the most important thing about this story that drove you to make that commitment? You know, I really felt that I had um, a lot of stories to tell and putting them in a fictional book was, you know, it it gave it gave me a voice to tell some of the about some of the issues that's actually happening in Afghanistan. It gave me a chance to educate people on the abuse on women and how you got to take the difference between Islam and uh, the culture and some of the bad guys and not combine them all together. And where there's this really huge difference between people will often make a mistake thinking that the old culture of Afghanistan and Islam are the same, and it's not. And because I have such a passion for the country and for the people, it really wasn't a big effort. It was was a, a labor of love. I mean, I... I felt that it was so important that people really have a, 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 a different look at Afghanistan. I wanted it to be a positive experience where people weren't depressed by the time that they got done with the book. Because there's a lot of really good things that come out of that country. And I really felt that there needed to be a venue so people could really see something positive. And there's a lot of foreigners over there now. There's just a big, huge mixture of all kinds of people there. Thank you, Anita, and all the Pulp Queens of Carrollton, Georgia. I think there is one thing we most definitely can agree on, 
Debbie Rodriguez is very brave, courageous, and one remarkable author. I hope book clubs will enjoy reading her book everywhere. Thank you so much. We all know about Afghanistan now, but what continent is it on? And name at least three of the countries that border it. Go to our website to enter our Beauty in the Book giveaway. Ten people with the correct answer will be chosen at random to get a free copy of today's feature book, A Cup of Friendship by Debbie Rodriguez.